everyone. I am Vixen Valentine, Director of Media, and I am here with a super very special guest, Gigi Holiday. And we have an announcement to make live and in person. Okay, well, I mean pre-recorded, but we're here together in the virtual world. Gigi, do you want to say why we're doing this interview? Yes, I would like to be the bearer of great news. Uh, as of April, I am a board of, mm, sorry, how do I say this again? I am, ah, I <laughs> am, <laughs> oh my God, saying it makes it real, doesn't it? It does, okay. totally okay. real. As of April, I am one of your newest board of directors for BurleyCon. <laughs> I am so excited to announce this. This is an amazing, amazing thing. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, I just, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. So, I mean, first off, obviously, congratulations. That's- Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, uh, Coco Electric told me, and I was like, oh my gosh, really? That is so amazing. I'm like, let's interview her. Let's do all of these things. Be I'm a fun person to like chat with. I realize that I, yeah. and I love it, especially when, you know, where there are situations where people are just like, there's a lot going on. And I'm like, Hey, let me lighten the mood a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So let's, okay. So first off, you've been going to Burley Con for a while, but what year was your first Burley Con you ever attended? My first Burley Con was 2012. Uh, and I went there on the fact that like everyone was just like in my local burlesque scene, we're just like, you have to go to Burley Con. If you, and it was one of those things like, if you really want to do this art form, you have to go to Burley Con. And I was just like, eh, okay, cool. But it was also like, yo, I get to go across country, like for the first time ever, let's do it. So I went ahead and 2012, ever since then, I, it's the, it's the trip that I just have to keep going back to. It's the place, it's home. It's like going to homecoming, you know, yeah. you're, you're always going to see your friends there. You're, you know, making sure that you're wearing the appropriate attire for each night, you know, even if it's just like, yeah, we got to make sure that we have all of our onesies <laughs> that are like unicorn and all this stuff. And we're like, yeah, we're bringing our onesies. And it'll just be a whole group of people with their onesie. And they're just like, dang, I wish I knew it was onesie day. But <laughs> so uh, that's what I like about it. So 2012, I have been going and I will never stop going. Amazing. So you started going in 2012 and then you started being, you taught some classes throughout the years, right? Oh yes. So I taught, uh, I am known for at least three classes now. Um, I did a burlesque bar class, well, bar above. And mm -hmm. what was great about it is that I am a certified bar instructor mm -hmm. and at the time I was so nervous because I was just like I don't know what to do and everyone's like you taught a bar class like you teach them every week you're fine but I was so happy that teaching that class I got to teach it a hip-hop and everyone was like super receptive they was like yo keep this playlist going like this is great uh, and then the other one I taught was uh the bur um the brunch of burlet oh, I'm sorry yeah, the brunch of burlesque or the burlesque of brunch. I can't remember uh -huh. right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the re and I got that name from Jeez Louise because she realized that I always did brunch shows in DC. And I was the one that brought burlesque to brunch. And, uh -huh. you know, what's done in what's done in the nighttime should definitely be done in the daytime. And so that was one of my favorite classes that I got to teach. And the most recent one I got to teach was um. Ooh, uh, savings plan, uh, put a mm -hmm. TNA in your 401k. And what's great about that one is that I got to teach it in person and virtually for one of the burly pods. 
And what was great is that I was, I love teaching it for the Burley part because it was early in the morning and people got me at my prime. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, let's talk about money. And it was just really, really good. I've also led a couple of caucuses as well, um, mostly for the BIPOC uh, community and for our East Coast burlesquers. Oh, so from all of your teaching and even for caucuses, is do you have like a, a standout memory or a favorite memory or just something that jumps out at you? My favorite memories of Burley Con, especially after I teach classes, is after I teach classes, it's the feedback that the students give, you know, your peers are telling you, yes, this is information that I needed, you know, like, hey, could you try it this way? I love getting the feedback where people are just like, hey, there should have been closed captions on that. And I'm like, you are absolutely correct. You know, I will make sure I'm better at that next time. And it just, I love that feedback, but I also love when people come to my class and take the information and make it their own. I've had a good number of people who ended up creating a burlesque brunch in their city. You know, I had one person come to me and say, this is the only bar class that I have ever gone to because I've tried to go to other bar classes and they are not you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it was just great that someone literally waited one year to, for, to, to take my bar class again. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, I made that impact on them to okay. where they went to go search out for it. And it was just like, no, it's Gigi that's making this class great. <laughs> But that's what it is when, when the students and my peers take the information that like I give out to them and they make it their own and do something fabulous with it. That's the best part of being a teacher at Burley Con. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, and then you became a Burley benefactor for a while, right? Yes, I think I've been a Burley benefactor since 2016. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow, when you say it out loud. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> since 2016 and I love being a burly benefactor mm -hmm. I, I really really do mm -hmm. and it's the how should I put it I love the monthly rate that we get to pay so it's very much set it and forget it mm -hmm. and it gets you know withdrawn out on my time you know so I set it for the first of the month and so you know, I don't have to worry about a ticket. I don't have to worry about that rush of getting a ticket. It's already there. Yeah. But along with being a Burley benefactor, while I, you know, give a lot more, I'm seeing my peers and my friends like benefit from it. It was really good one year, I think it was like my second or third year as a Burley benefactor. And I watched one of my friends get the scholarship for Burley Con. And it just like, wow it made me cry and she was just like yo who knew who knew and I was like I didn't know even I was like crying for it you know seeing that seeing things that you want to happen and you being a part of it I just love it I love being a burly benefactor I love also being able to talk to our legends in an intimate setting talk to the board of directors you know at that time and ask questions um, see other people who are philanthropists like me mm -hmm. and watching them and just like, yes, yes, yes. Let's keep going. Let's keep this going. Yeah. And also you're trying to grow the group yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to see more burly benefactors with you. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely one thing that I said, I wanted to make sure more this year and more coming years is that we have more burly benefactors is, you know, just war. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do you have a philanthropy philosophy? Ooh. Philosophies change over the years. Mm -hmm. And mine has definitely changed uh, since the pandemic. Since mm -hmm. this uh, Peter Piper pick a pepper. So since, since this panel skirt. Since mm -hmm. this panel skirts um <laughs> it has changed and so my philosophy is that I need to oh, how should I put this 
I definitely have to help the next person beside me. You know, I really have to help them. I, if I see myself in them and they see themselves in me, I need to give as well. One of the things that um, I read this book called Hood Feminism. Uh, it's one of my favorite books <laughs> that I read during this panel skirt. And um, what was great about it, they were saying like, you know, you have, you should help your community. You know, if you see a homeless person on the street, you should give, you know, because that could be you, baby. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, you're right. You know, it's one of the things that I had uh, preached in a lecture once where I was just like, when you say Black Lives Matter, you mean all Black Lives Matter, meaning that homeless Black person matters, meaning that single Black mother matters, meaning that this trans Black person, not like these people matter. So to me, it's, I just, I have to give to my, the, the gays, the girls and the days. So like, you know, uh -huh. I, I have to, I can't see anyone without. You know, and it's also that see a need, fill a need. I think that's yeah. it. See a need, <laughs> fill a need. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so fast forward from starting uh, BurleyCon in 2012 to teaching, to being a Burley benefactor, and now you're on the board. Board of direct, yeah. It's kind of like uh, from stripper to management. It's kind of- <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like stripper to management. <laughs> but I, I love the growth. And I think it shows the growth that you can have in this industry. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the yeah. thing. You know, it's the growth that you can have in this, in, in this industry. If you really love the art and you really love this craft, sure. you know, like, you're going to grow with it and it's going to grow with you. Mm -hmm. trust I never expected in my many of years of growing up <laughs> that this would be me like never expected it mm -hmm. never <laughs> I thought I was just going to be a news anchor and keep it moving <laughs> <laughs> so what interested you in accepting the position oh wow um How should I put this? Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. My brain is just like, <laughs> yes, you know the answer. Uh, <laughs> what really wanted me to do this was that you want to see the people around you grow. And it's also that familiar face. So if someone, if one of my peers see me on the board of directors, they're like, yo, but if also someone who is a newer performer sees me and looks up to me and they're like, yo. So it's one of those like joining it. I, I knew one, I wanted to elevate and educate. I always want to continue that of elevate and educate and being with the board of directors of BurleyCon will really, really make that happen for everyone, you know, <laughs> for everyone. But also just to, you know, have a, I don't know. Uh, I accepted it because I knew it was just the right, beautiful thing to do. You know, I wanted, to, I still want to educate, elevate, show people that like, I see you, you see me, we, we hear, you know, you want to see the people around you flourish and you flourish as well. So yeah. And I hope it, I hope me being on this board inspires other people to, you know, just grow with their art form in their industry, wherever that may be. <laughs> yeah. So now that you're on the board, as a board member, what prior experiences or skills are you looking forward to bringing to the Burley Con board? Oh, wow. Okay. And I know there's a lot, so you could just pick like... There is a lot. <laughs> um, I have oh wow I have been a project manager for years but I don't have the project manager certificate right you don't really need a degree but you need a degree right <laughs> yeah. it's that 
capitalism, society, right? Mm-hmm. There are some pretty smart people out there with no degrees, right? I've been doing project managing for years from event planning, school um, administrative, summer camp. Wow. So what I'm really excited to bring is just the organa- organizational skills that I have, but also the fresh ideas that I bring just by watching everything that society has that is built around us. You know, I love, I love this new social media thing of TikTok. I thought I was going to hate it and I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's been hours on TikTok, yeah. but like knowing those things and, and hearing my peers, what they say about, you know, what they would like to see in burlesque and what they would like to see in the burlesque education system. Ooh, see, we don't really have a special system. (laughs) We have series of schools like all over the place. There's a system. Um, Yeah, yeah, I just want to bring my project management skills, uh, my joy for always learning the new tech thing and learning, you know, really good of like, I love having the idea of like, hey, that idea is great. Let's, Let's try this. I'm always bringing new, fresh ideas to to environments and situations. But not only that, my sense of humor. (laughs) (laughs) And I say my sense of humor because I know how sometimes, like, you just need a laugh in a business meeting real quick. Just a real quick giggle. And you're like, okay, all righty, let's get back to work. Like, we needed that laugh. So just a little (laughs) bit of humor. (laughs) But mostly, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wonderful. And you already touched on it earlier um, as you taught at a Burley Pod. So because they're relatively new because of the pandemic, what has been your favorite thing about the Burley Con Burley Pod? The ability to do them in my living room. Mm. It's so cool to like have this wonderful thing like in my home yeah and it's also cool to you know I think one of my favorite classes that I took was actually Coco Electric's Big Bag Boa Mm -hmm. all over again and I was in love uh in love (laughs) with the class and doing it in my living room with my boa yeah there are feathers all over the place but I'm in heaven (laughs) That's literally what it was like, I'm in heaven and, you know, I'm in the class and I'm ordering food from Uber Eats and it's showing up right on time as the class is over. Nice. And it's just, that is my favorite thing. And also the replays. Like, if you feel like you missed something, if that class is available for a replay, the fact you go like, okay, let me go back real quick. Let me go back (laughs) real quick. Let me check. Oh, they say do that. Oh, Okay. So I'm really ex- like, that's my thing about Burley Pods. I can do them in my living room and like have fun and see all of my friends while I'm doing it in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So do you have like anything else? I know you just like, you're just getting into it right now. Um, you've had your early, uh, your board meeting now. Things are like starting to like hit the ground running. They're like any sort of like things you want to remember about this moment a year from now. Oh my gosh. Um, that I'm sitting here with no pants on and a thong. Okay. Yeah. I'm Winnie the Poohing it right now. It's totally cool, you guys. It's totally cool. It's a burlesque. That's showbiz, babe. Um, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so the one thing that I hope people, um, you know, get from this interview and the fact that now I'm a board member, of, like I'm on the board of directors for Burley God, is that, you know, I'm still that fun, lovable person and you can always come to me. I am definitely a natural problem solver. Uh, and I will always like help. I am still your burlesque auntie. Uh, it's just that your burlesque auntie got a cool promotion. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, well, congratulations. It's, Thank I'm you. so excited that you're on the board and we'll be in communication, um, yeah. you know, from here on out. And I can't wait for everybody to hear the good news. 
So I can't wait for everyone to hear the good news. I'm ready for my phone to blow up the same way my phone blew up when I made number 40 on the top 50 early this year. And I will say this, y'all, that happened right after the insurrection. I live a mile away from the Capitol building. So my phone had been blowing up for 24 hours already. Wow. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, I'm just going to keep my phone on the charge, y'all. <laughs> yeah. The people were just like calling me and I was like, so yeah, I'm just going to make sure my phone is fully charged. <laughs> and I am so happy to, you know, grow with BurleyCon and BurleyCon grow yeah. with me. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Uh, it has been a pleasure and a delight. And we'll, I'll at least see you at the next BurleyCon. You'll definitely see me at the next mm -hmm. BurleyCon. Who knows? I make sure about an all committee meeting. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.